Hello, this is Varsha and welcome to the QA Belt in my YouTube channel. So today in this video, I will show you tips for finding X path. It will save your time and very efficient way you can able to write your X path. Uh, X path. So uh, if you are new or if you are beginner for uh, Selenium, then I'll recommending one video which I have uh, created previously for what are the what is the X path, what are the types of X path. I will add this uh, video link in this description box. Please go th uh, go through uh, first and then uh, check this video. Then only this video will help you. And uh, I'll show you one demo uh, with this video, like uh, how you can relate these tips uh, from uh, um, real time scenario and how you can use that. So yeah, let me show you one by one what are the tips I covered. Like uh, you have to basically need to focus on that tips. So first tip is what is X path, which X path is better in Selenium. So we have two types of X path in Selenium. One is absolute, another one is relative x path but selenium always recommending you for <clears throat> writing x path using relative x path why because it is directly jumping you jumping to you on a specific tag name where your web element is presented and if you are using absolute x path then it is started from the root tag so if some after some time if developer change few things or they might be delete or adding some future features so that uh, HTML structure will change and your absolute X path definitely fail. And again, you have to write down. So it might be rework for you and it will uh, burden for you basically. So yeah, what is my next point? Before using X path, check once whether it is correct or not. So right now in market, there is a multiple tools, uh, automatic multiple tools automatic tools or like extensions are available which uh, which will save your time but if you are using that one then before using please check once like this x path is correct or not so i am recommending you or i'll uh, i'm recommending you like please uh, check like uh, please check or confirm it is correct or not and uh, in the latter part of this video i will show you how you can check the x path is correct or not and the third part, the third point is don't use indexes for X part. So I saw sometimes like few people are using indexing like they wrote just simple X path and using indexing they are trying to fetching this particular web element on the web page. But it is not recommending by Selenium because indexing always not work. It might be fail after some time, so always use uh, like a proper X path. Uh, you you might aware about the this concept like how we can write the X path using indexing because sometimes interviewer might be ask you like what are the ways you know about the X path writing. So that's why. And fourth one is X path in second. I'll show you in my demo like how you can write a X path in a single second and you can save your time. You can write uh, absolute and relative uh, both x path by using this uh, mm, uh, trick. I'll show you, and uh, uh, I hope these tips are uh, very high, helpful for you, and uh, it will be save your time and it will be uh, become smart for uh, writing uh, the x path. So. Please uh, suggest if you have any feedback or any suggestion, please share in the comment box. I took one of the famous website that is Paytm and here I want to show you first my fourth point uh, or fourth tip uh, like this is for find X path in a single second. So yeah, let me just uh, scroll down and uh, I want a uh, X path for this Paytm for consumer and let me inspect it. So yeah, this is a particular uh, tag for this uh, specific web element. Okay, so here I just want to uh, find uh, absolute and relative X path. So let me just simply 
do right click and there is one copy option and inside the copy there is a multiple options and as you are seeing the second last option for copy export so i'm just simply clicking on this copy export it will save it will uh, copy my relative export let me show you open the notepad and uh, paste here so yeah this is relative export as it is started by double slash okay let me again copy the absolute export for the same web element okay so there is a fun other another option for copy full export so full export it means the absolute export as it is started by single slash so yeah this is a absolute export let me check like is this export are correct or not as in as i said in my second point uh, like second tips like uh, before using export you have to check or you have to confirm is this correct or not so for this check you have to simply uh, click control plus f or uh, if you are using that then you have to simply click command plus f and paste your export here and check by clicking enter like it is a exact export or not so as you are seeing like this is for populated or this is highlighted ptm for a consumer so it is a unique export and also you can check at the right side like this burn off one yeah so this is the unique export let me check this absolute export is this correct or not so let me copy it and simply pasting here yeah this is also correct export as it is showing one of one so this is the way we can confirm we can check like my uh, export is correct or not so i hope this video will help you or it will be provide you some smart way for finding export in a single second or what exactly we have to follow in selenium uh, and uh, please share this video uh, if you like or if you have any other tips then please do comment in the comment section 